Hi everybody! In response to Trump being found guilty for some of his sleazy activities and with the 2024 election coming up, hopefully by now most people can see that Trump is just another scammy, scummy billionaire that does whatever he wants regardless of the law. Peeping on underage girls in their dressing rooms, making money through dishonest business practices. He has displayed racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, xenophobia, narcissism. Trump is another unchecked billionaire scam artist with no understanding of the plights of the impoverished, the working class, or the average citizen. Trump is not mature or responsible enough to lead a nation of diverse people into prosperity and peace. He's irresponsible, self-centered, and ruled by his emotions. He cares more about profits than the people, and fame and glory than solving our society's most desperate issues. Without the poor, he would not be rich. Without a herd of mindless followers, he would not have the suckers he needs to support his bank account and his selfish interests. He's a billionaire, he doesn't care about the people, same as Bill Gates who said a sucker is born every minute. Although Gates is much smarter and more successful than Trump, Trump likes the spotlight because he's insecure and requires applause in order to feel important. He's a people person which makes him a great scam artist because he can get people to buy into his bullshit triple the price. Trump is the epitome of emotional immaturity. He shows no compassion towards those who struggle for their basic rights or their basic needs. He doesn't care about doing what's right, only what makes him more money and comes with praise. I'm highlighting Trump especially because there are many people ignorant of his red flags, and I encourage people to look closely at his psychology because we have enough suckers and ignorant people in the world, so let's not ignore the red flags. Anyone that supports such a person is no doubt in the same stunted level of growth as Trump, and it's not surprising that we see so many people backing him because our society is composed of emotionally and intellectually stunted sheeple. That is our crippling mark on society, a people that lack the proper channels of judgment to recognize a narcissistic scam artist when they're right in front of them. But this is also about the election, not just how unfit Donald Trump is for president. What about the Democratic Party? Well, Biden didn't get my vote either. Biden is better than Trump in that he's like not homophobic, like he actually like cares about the social justices of our world and he cares about diversity and he's not about, you know, separation of people and, you know, pitting people against each other. So, in that way he's better than Trump. There's also something wrong with his brain. I don't know if anybody noticed, but he's very unfit mentally to be in a position of power. And for me, I do not agree with voting for the lesser evil. That is irresponsible, inauthentic, and it lacks foresight. It does not set us up for a better world. It sends a message to the world that we are willing to settle on a leader that doesn't represent us. We understand that presidents are figureheads, icons puppeted by powerful authorities that pull the strings from behind the slogans and the campaign ads. Presidents give the people something to feel safe about. It's like a religion. Give the people someone that appeals to them so that you can better have them under your thumb. People are so much easier to persuade when they've given all of their power to one person to just make all the decisions for them. And yet voting, however worthless in practicality, is a way humans can use their voice. Our voice is powerful. We should use it to create a world of equality where truth is valued and compassion is commonplace. Do not get suckered into this two-party system because there are better options. If you continue to support this unsustainable government, it won't ever get better. Last election, I voted for Dario David Hunter. You probably don't know him. He was the nominee for the Progressive Party in 2020, and he didn't show up on everyone's ballot. These are the hidden gems that people miss because they are so brainwashed by this two-party system. It's time to wean ourselves off this two-party system. In previous elections, there were so many candidates that I didn't know about because I didn't I didn't know that they were an option. I didn't know where to look because some of these candidates, they don't have the kind of money that scam artists, billionaires like Donald Trump have. And I just want to remind everyone out there that forgot, just because you have money doesn't mean that you're a good person, doesn't mean that you're fit to rule a nation, doesn't mean that you're going to put the well-being of the people before your own self-interest. So during the 2024 election, everyone is going to be herded into this two-party system again, but will everybody fall for it again? Or are we actually gonna break away from this two-party system finally? I think the problem is, is that people don't know how to recognize scam artists. They don't know how to recognize a good leader. A lot of people that vote for Trump support him because he supports a lot of the shitty things that a lot of people 
represent like racism like sexism like homophobia like xenophobia i also want to put out there a new idea for a voting system where if our first pick doesn't make it then we have like a second or a third which will automatically be counted to the one that gets the most votes who wouldn't support that that way we can actually vote for the one that we support and not settle on the lesser evil we live on a planet with diverse levels of consciousness and that's changing as the planet removes souls that are not compatible with the new fifth dimensional vibrations of love truth equality and service to others we will see a transformation in the people and we already are no matter who you vote for this election i want you to consider all the life forms that are impacted by your choice all the life forms that we share this planet with and the future of the human species every choice that we make adds to the collective consciousness of our world our collective future look at where our unsustainable ignorant choices have collectively led us it is time for change. Time to prioritize equality, truth, compassion, and peace. You contribute to our future with your actions. Every hateful thing you do cripples our communities and has painful impacts on our global vibrations, our global stability. Likewise, every loving thing that you do supports a future of peace and prosperity. And we desperately need more loving people in this world. Look at all the hate in the world. Look at all the hate that Trump has made, all the racism, the separation of the way that you look or your gender or where you're from. Trump is not someone who brings people together. He's someone who separates the people. But look at it this way, without an enemy, he can't get you on his side. It's easy to be ignorant in this world because that's how we're programmed to be. It's harder to break that cycle, especially the longer that you've been exposed to it. In a lot of my videos, I often mention the desperate need for education. And this isn't a gender-based issue, but I'm hoping to reach some of the misogynistic men out there to put it in perspective of how we view education today. In the US, females make up a higher percentage of those seeking higher education. Stereotypically, females have a higher disposition, disposition for emotional maturity much sooner than men. Males. Historically, men have pursued higher education because it was socially expected of them and they had to in order to keep up with their peers. But I find that now the male population find less worth in education. They grew up in a society with unchecked privileges and entitlement. Men more than women appear more confident in their stupor. They think that just because they are men, that they are naturally in the know, naturally skilled, and therefore deserve to be worshipped just for existing. I'm hoping that this will inspire men who are capable of emotional maturity to consider the path of education, as we already have far more uneducated, ignorant men in this world that we could ever have use for and if history has any value our future doesn't bow well with such men the takeaway from this is educate yourself no matter your gender your ethnicity your history your land of origin etc the world deserves to have an educated and emotionally mature dominant species after all it is our responsibility to be stewards of this planet and i want to cycle this back to voting because using your voice is that power that i'm talking about that is what's going to change the world that is what's going to change the future of our world okay so i spoke the truth about trump may his tyranny and ignorance be known by all I hope he doesn't win. I hope Biden doesn't win. I hope to see more Americans voting for people that actually represent our diverse nation. I hope somebody gets elected that shows emotional maturity, that brings fair leadership, and is willing to do what it takes to lift the people from poverty and address our ecological health, our declining resources. Someone that will unite the people under common goals instead of divide and conquer. Voting for the lesser evil is petty. It's illogical. It's unsustainable. It's emotional immature voting for the lesser evil is beneath me and I hope it is for you too because I hope that you have more respect for yourself and I hope that you care about the future of our world I hope this election is one in which the people will upgrade their standards and raise the bar because it is desperately needed never settle for less or that's all you'll ever get land back live long and prosper